Welcome to a new episode of How To. My name is Armand and today our topic is the introduction to the Meshworks GUI. So, here is how is the GUI when I open Meshworks interface. First of all, at the center there is the graphical window. You'll find at the top left corner the primary toolbar. Just below, the model tree. You find right here the secondary toolbar. And finally, at the bottom of the screen, you have the profession tabs where each one is divided into application menus. Each of them is split into several tabs and just above you'll find the advanced toolbar. Let's see each of them in detail now. First, the primary toolbar. Please let me show you some of the icons. At the left, you can find icons to open a file and to save it. If you click on it, a window will open below in the graphical window. The Select File button allows you to pick the file to import and the Template button allows you to specify the requested file template. Some options exist. The Replace Model option overrides the current model in the Meshworks GUI with the new imported model. The Append Model option allows to open the imported model in superposition to the current model in the GUI. Add Model options allows the user to import a model within a new tab that is going to be created in the model tree. Then, the user can switch between every imported model directly in the model tree, avoiding to open a new instance of Meshworks for each new model. Each tab is displayed in green color in the model tree. You can be able to switch between them thereafter in the model tree. Let's import a model to use it. In the primary toolbar, the export file button is working with the same principle. The full model option right here exports the whole model available in the GUI, whereas the displayed model option exports only what is displayed in the GUI. After that, you can find the preferences icon where you can find and change the settings. The Mesher Controls icon allows to set the meshing with templates. This icon will be explained in detail in another video. The Help icon where you can find a manual to help you to use every functions. And then, the Meshworks icon where you can find information about your Meshworks version. About the manipulation of the model now. If you want to rotate it, it's Ctrl key and left click. To translate it, it's Ctrl key and right click. To zoom, you can either click on Ctrl key and scrolling in or out, or also click on Ctrl key and with the middle button of the mouse, draw a circle to zoom in. Now we can take a look at the secondary toolbar on the right part of the screen. On the top you can find the standard view, but also the front, bottom, right, left and user view. After that, the CAD geometry view icons to display only the CAD lines for example. Just below, there are some advanced options for the 0D and 1D elements. Just below you have options for the view of 2D elements and 3D elements and some options for the control block visualization, especially for the control block morphing application. Several component visualization options are available right here. In addition of that, you can find some other functions commonly used. As an example, this option is an important one. This is the undo redo option with history. That's very powerful. It means you can come back to any preview step of your work if wanted. Let's see what we have in the model tree. You can find in the model tree everything that constitutes your model. Here, if I click on components, we can see that we have all the meshes and cat parts. I can easily show or hide every part just like that. If I click on a part with right click, there are some options like delete, rename, etc. And we can, in addition, change the color by clicking on it with the right click again. To work on the model, you are going to interact with the Profession tabs. In each Profession tab, several application menus exist, split into several tabs each. Some tools are duplicated right here, for example the Import and Export functions. If I click on the Delete tool, for example, we can see how the main part of the tools are working. You can choose what kind of entities you want to select, the way to select them if you want to be efficient and quick. And finally, a way to cancel the current selection. By default, 
The selection definition is to pick manually elements, but you can be quicker by using some tips. If you want to use a selection window, you have to press the Shift key and hold the left click. To pick a component, it is the same, but with the Alt key. To deselect entities, it's the same way, but with the right click instead of the left one. To save time during the process, to validate or go to the next step in every tools you use, you just have to click on the middle button of the mouse. And finally, just above this window, there is the Advanced Toolbar, in which you can find, for example, the different ways to select entities when using a tool or some commonly used tools. This is how the first episode of our series concludes. DEP Meshworks is a software developed by CAE engineers for CAE engineers. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at email at depeurope.com. We'll be happy to support you to solve your modeling problem as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.